5.30, a boy and firefighters teamed up to save a grandfather's life when his car got stuck on commuter rail tracks. And they did it without any time to spare. The train hit the car and pushed it the length of a football field. WBC's Paul Burton has the story. The vehicle ended up right there. Ashland Police Chief Vincent Alfano says this is what's left of the car that got smashed by a commuter train. The chief says it was terrifying moments for a grandfather and grandson. After a wrong turn, ends up getting their car stuck on the commuter rail tracks in Ashland last night. With the gates down and an inbound train just moments away, the grandfather waves his hands frantically for the train to stop, while the boy runs for help at the nearby fire station on Main Street. My grandpa got his car stuck on rail tracks, and we, we can't get them out. We immediately contacted the uh, railroad and asked them to stop the trains. Um, but at that point, the train was already here. Firefighters come running out to help and quickly get the grandfather and boy out of harm's way before the train barrels right into the car. Control copy, you got a strike. Control copy, I'm on with Keolis. Investigators say it was an extremely close call for the family who accidentally turned onto the tracks thinking it was a driveway into a restaurant. The people were out of the car, but they were still within a danger zone, and the firefighters got them out of that danger zone. Looking back from that intersection, the car was actually dragged about 125 yards after impact into the middle of these tracks right here. And from the looks of those pictures, it's a good thing no one was inside that vehicle. The car was totally destroyed. Police say everyone is okay. The MBTA is investigating the accident. In Ashland, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.